and that little one this is little marked clump. because it's going to have to come out. So we just marked it to make the fathers know that we know oh. that. So I'm, I'm just looking at, you know, to my layman's eye, right. I would say that these aren't like all suppressed trees, that that one and this one over here are, are both in very good condition and would grow Right, but Better. what happens is if you leave the stocking at the level you're leaving it at, right. you're not going to get your big trees. And what we want to do is increase the growth on the trees that are here. So we're taking some of the trees. While we're in thinking of increasing the growth, right. we want to maintain site occupancy for the long term, 500 years. We know we need regeneration. So as these fir die, if there's but no... The, but there's always sprouts when you cut redwood, so it's not really... You know, it doesn't well, seem like it. Right, but you're balancing over time not only different types of habitat, but you're also looking at, um, well, it depends. The goal of the forest practice rules is to have sustained yield. Right. So if you're talking about sustained yield and you're working on a 100-year planning cycle, right. you're not going to just let your trees sit. That's not sustained yield. Oh, well, I agree. I yeah. agree. So, so this but is you, the if you come in of increasing the growth is by taking one clump that's very close to a lot of conifer stocking and yet you still can get regeneration and then now you don't have as much competition this redwood clump I mean you can almost think of these as single trees so because they are okay, around so you're going to leave this clump exactly down this there. is marked right right that's so not now, marked so now this clump is not competing with that clump so that I, that so that's the bigger. theory yes that's so that's the, the theory. theory behind it so that's correct um, okay so I understand I and in some sense it seems to me to violate at least the, the principles of you know I've been talking a lot with like not Jim Gregg but uh, Dave Herman Jim Abel Mark Andre and it seems like all they believe that you get the highest growth by you know leaving some of the really most vigorous trees I mean they might take one of these two trees out and then the little ones, you know. I think they would need to know the stand conditions, right. personally, before they made that judgment. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I know I wouldn't want to just conjecture. No, well, they yeah. don't want to conjecture totally yeah. without so the So I wouldn't. Right. I mean, if you quoted me, I'd be disappointed. Right. Personally. Right. I'm not quoting them about this particular stand. And, in fact, uh, you know, they all said you need to know for sure what the conditions are. Right. In a stand, but uh, yeah, so so there's there's room for debate, right? Oh no, there's in, and there's room for debate about everything, even when we all right. have the same stand conditions in mind. But you know, I so see like the, this the other. The varying objectives are the challenge. But it seems like you take everything out of this, and then you're leaving everything in this other clump down here, so you're not providing the same degree of spacing. Well, in, around in the, different the more you know, the yes, more dominant no, I, trees and that. The difference, there's different right. ways to look at it. So we're looking at now in South Whiskey Springs and we're looking at proposed cluster selection. There's one clump here, and then you can see two over here that are completely unmarked. Actually, three <laughs> so you know, somehow create space. I would well, think, increase or reduce the competition. Right. Yes. You'd reduce the competition the most by taking out this one here in the middle. And then you'd have one, two, three. So I, I'm just trying yeah, to understand could, could, the logic I of could, it. If I saw that, that would be fine. If I see this, I think it's fine too because, I mean, you're in this place, you're going to take a lot fewer trees other than taking some fir and tan oak, which we need to do also in this prescription to open up for the regeneration. So in, so in the clumps, the regeneration factors into that as well as the spacing. There's not, it's not one single thing that we're targeting. Right. It's a multifaceted organism that has different issues, so. But I don't see it. If you want to take some, you could take some of those ones over there. 
And then you could take some of those down there. I mean, well, if you're if you're taking some of those, yeah, you're gonna take the bigger one. And to be honest, Vince, that one is a strange mark. I, I agree, okay. but it works for me. I can justify that, but it's not what I would have done. I see. But but it's difficult because this is what I would have done had I not had the QMD because that to me is competing a lot more heavily with a number of trees. So these trees are going to get a heck of a lot more light if those that clump goes. Right. See, and, and that, that one and is going to be a challenge operationally. I see. And it seems like an alternative is to, to thin this, or to thin these, which you've got a lot of potentially good growth. I, I really, I'm having a very hard time understanding from a, from a we, we, growth and productivity standpoint why it makes more, more sense to leave these really dense even clumps. Age stand. This is an even age stand, and we don't want to maintain that. We want an uneven age stand. So it's that it's, is much much more natural. So it's if based. You will. So it's based on wanting to convert this to uneven age. Exactly. And so. And so then you're dealing with the spacing and the openings and the competition. But but you would get re sprouts even if you thin these out. Right, but what, how out. are they going to grow? Are they are going to be a component of the stand that you actually measure? Well, when in a hundred years, and then is that? Good productivity, site productivity. You know, if you if you do them, if you remove them on the if on the south side, 